Hello there everyone, my name is Chris and today we're going to be going over the Lighthouse Soldering Kit from Protopic. This is a beginner soldering kit that allows you to build a little stand-up lighthouse with only a few parts and a little bit of know-how. So we're going to go ahead and get the harder part out of the way first, which is determining which resistors are which. You have three different types of resistors, one 220 ohm, one 82k ohm, and two 220k ohm. We're going to go ahead and put in the 220 ohm first. And you can tell which one that is by the red, red, black striation on the resistor. And then we're going to put the 82k ohm in next. And then last, we'll put in the 20k ohm. Next up, we want to snip off all the leads that we just soldered down from the resistors. So make them as nice and flush as possible. Next up, we're going to want to solder on the LED. And this one's a little bit tricky because you want to make sure that the polarity is right. There's a little plus marker to indicate the positive side, which is the longer leg on the LED. Make sure that leg goes into the correct via. And then what you're going to want to do is just gently bend up the LED. Be careful not to break the leads. So that way, it gives it a nice lighthouse effect. Next up, we're going to solder in the capacitors. Those are the small cylinder parts. And like the LED, there is a positive and a minus leg. Positive is always longer. You're going to want to make sure that those point into the center of the board, marked by the plus mark. Just like everything else, cut off the leads when you're done. Let's solder in the transistors next. Those are the small D-shaped parts, and there should be two of them. And you will need to spread out the leads on this to make sure that it fits into place nice and secure. Just make sure you pay attention to the silk on the PCB, because that will tell you which orientation it should go into. The flat end should face up towards the LED. Next up, we're going to solder on the CR2032 battery pack. Make sure you pay attention to the silk on the back of the board because it will tell you which direction it should go on. The last electronic component that we're going to attach is the switch. There's three pins on there. Once you're done, just snap them off and you'll be good to go. And finally, the last step in the lighthouse kit, soldering on the base. I recommend putting on a little bit of flux just to help the solder flow, but you only really need two sides tacked on to make sure that it can stand up properly. If you've got everything soldered correctly, you should be left with a nice blinking lighthouse. This is a great little beginner's kit, and it was actually quite a bit of fun to solder and make sure that everything stood up and was positioned correctly. Be sure to note that you will need to supply your own CR2032 battery, so just have one on hand or make sure you also buy one when you get the kit as well. And if you dove it, mm, dove gently blink a white light and this is just rambling. If you've got everything soldered, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you have everything soldered correctly, that, why did I do that? Why did I do this?